And, you know, I think one of my main points that I was going to talk about and I never really got around to was who is the destabilizing force in the Middle East? Really, you're going you're gonna to blame Iran because they took back their government? And you're going to blame them because they had to turn to a kind of a fundamentalist uh, Islam. So we're going to blame Al Qaeda. We're going to blame. We're going to blame their bravest for standing up because because they're the only ones who who will do it, right? I mean. So the, they're the only ones, and they'd all die. They're all what they call martyrs, and we're gonna call, we're gonna say they're the destabilizing. You know, it's just like this thing going on with me on Thursday, where they're gonna try and convict me of terroristic threatening. So they're trying to say that I'm guilty of threatening them because I don't like what they're doing. And so the same thing in here, you know, these neocons or whatever they are, they try and say that they're guilty of destabilizing the Middle East because they're daring to, they're the only ones, right? I mean, nobody else is willing to stand up. Even the Russians will back down more often than not. Nobody's willing to stand up to our our gun. You know, I mean, at some point it's disgusting to say because I can't even say it, but you know, it's maybe it's better to take a bullet to the head. You know, or maybe we need to uh shoot them first. That's disgusting, I know. That's, here in the United States, that's what I'm in trouble for. But I mean, honestly, if somebody's pointing a gun at your head, and they're telling you, you either kiss my ass, or I'm going to shoot you in the head, well, you don't, you don't have any choice, right? You pucker up and and kiss their ass, but that, man, if that's really the way it is, wow. I think I'd rather take a bullet to the head.